And we're back with another episode of the Sab Powers Podcast. Uh, I think it's number episode 18 or 19. Can't keep track anymore. Fucking the big homie, God himself, Big Doves. How's it going, bro? What up, my dude? How's everything? Chilling, man. Chilling. Fucking, I just want to say right off the bat, if anyone's a fan of my rapping or my comedy or anything, it's all thanks to the fucking this guy. If I never met you, we never. I never would have started rapping probably because you were fucking always the rapper, right? You were always freestyling. And then I was like, all right, I could fucking freestyle too. Or I would try just because of you. We'd freestyle together. Everyone would. But I mean, I was always at least like third or like fourth best. I was never like the worst. You were always just the best crushing it <laughs> in the group. You know what I mean? Thank you. Thank you. And then now I'd like to say I'm probably like second best when it comes to our friend group of freestylers. You know what I mean? And probably. then with comedy, the whole reason I started comedy was because you're like, I'm going to start doing stand up comedy because you were going to the vapor trails where Levi was doing it. And I was like, okay, it's sick. Me too. And then I just started doing it and you never really did it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's true. I just write jokes. I don't perform them. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta put them all in your rap battles or something. Yeah, no. One day one day I'll just hit the stage with a special and then just blow everybody away and it's done. That, yeah, you know, that'd be crazy, bro. That'd be crazy. <clears throat> I'll just come out with an hour worth of material and that's it. Do it. Yeah, fuck, man. You might as well. Now you got more time to write than ever, right? And it's like you can't go on tons. stage and practice any of this shit if you, even if you wanted to. I got tons. tons <laughs> yeah, of time. I've been, yeah. been writing. I've been writing, but not jokes. I, well, I've been writing a few jokes here and there, you know. This whole COVID shit, it's pretty funny. Can we hear some COVID jokes or you don't want to leak any of them? <laughs> no, I don't have any COVID jokes because uh, I feel like as soon as as soon as soon COVID's over and everybody's going to go to the comedy store, everybody's going to have two COVID jokes, you know? Yeah, it's gonna be for sure. saturated really fast. I only had one COVID joke slash rhyme that I wrote one time and I was like, it's coronavirus over Kobe dying. And that was, that was crazy shit, you know? Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, and everybody thought I was crazy for that. And then like, a week later they're like oh shit the country's locked down oh shit oh you said that like when it happened yeah so I, as soon as kobe died that day i was like it's coronavirus over kobe dying and then everybody was like no it was a basketball player we must respect him forever and then a week later they were like kobe who the coronavirus is everywhere <laughs> true that's a good point holy shit yeah damn dude all right so i better ask this before i forget gotta ask you what are your thoughts on epstein bro oh, fuck. oh wait I, we already talked about this on the checkmates podcast if checkmates. you want to know go to checkmates let's go, go to, to the next all right local what, Louis. what are your thoughts some, we, di we dive into <laughs> just skimming the waters on some other conspiracy theories yeah yeah i, I had a rebuttal for this either i had something ready and now i forget i was gonna ask you what were your thoughts on something else but you probably didn't know it yeah, probably. I don't really know a lot of shit. I don't even remember most of my life, bro. <laughs> yeah, facts. It's like a movie, though, I've been told. <laughs> yeah, it is, bro. I met a murderer, like, well, before he killed people. Well, one guy. I don't want to get into it. It's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> That's a story for another podcast. My cousin's a celebrity. You know what I mean? It's crazy. I've survived, like, fucking crazy shit like that fucking uh sun at uh, the sunroof shit and the fat smash my face against some man but biking one time fucking i don't know life is just crazy I, I feel like everyone's life must be uh crazy and interesting in its own way right yeah well you know some people do live a boring life it's just to wake up go to nine to five i've been formatted to work a job you know some people are just and they're comfortable with that and then there's some people like you who are just like yeah let's do it yeah yeah it's crazy you know I mean? true yeah i've like done a lot of different shit like battle rap and like comedy and fucking music right yeah Tried we were, uh, we were talking about now. that on the strange brew podcast where uh you kind of just done whatever you felt like you've needed to do you know mm -hmm. it was like i'm gonna do this because i feel like i, I want to try it or i can be good at it yeah yeah and i was like you know, i was like you can't put sab in a lane no matter what he's never been in a lane he's just he's he's sab you know, it's just yeah, yeah. Thanks, you're, you're, you're you're one of the most unique and best characters in my life. Narrative. Yeah. You know? Thanks, bro. You too. That's why I wanted to like say all that shit at the beginning, because like really, like if it if you didn't exist, bro, like I would be a whole different person. Like, what would my life be like? You know what I mean? 
Like, I don't nice. even know. It's so weird, dude, to think about I, that that's shit. A, that's a fun thing to think about. Yo, uh, what are your thoughts on, uh, like, being 99 point, or 99% you could have been an ant? <laughs> you know my thoughts yeah okay so i just feel so lucky to be a human right because if you think about it there's way more fucking ants the chances of my soul being in an ant is like way higher or anything else like fucking and that's so fucked and just being a human is so dope we have like the option to be lazy if you're lazy in nature you die, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Facts. If you don't, like, Facts. you either, either your food's everywhere, but then you have shit trying to kill you. you are the everywhere food for Exactly. Like, either there's, like, grass everywhere and you're, like, a rabbit. And you have to worry about shit trying to kill you. Or and most, and you're a beast, like a bear, most, but you have to go catch your stupid food. <laughs> it's, like, it's most, trying so hard Most to animals, like, most animals have a comp, like, a... Uh, different predators right but yeah. all animals have one common predator and it's a human exactly whoa that's a trip damn whoa that's kind of fucked up bro i wonder if there's one animal out there that we've never killed it's like hiding in some cave some weird species that no human is maybe, maybe so man no that's what they do they're like an unknown species bag it and tag it boys we gotta <laughs> yeah. do some research yeah exactly fuck damn that's fucked bro i heard get a uh, live one and get a dead one we'll study the difference Bro, I heard, like, elephants are, like, growing up to be, like, little brats now. They're, like, all – because, like, their parents, like, if their parents get killed, they grow up, like, with fucking attitude problems and shit. It's a trip. I don't know. Fuck it. Fuck it. I have no comment on that. It just seems factual. Yeah. I don't know. It, it was, I, like, I, a that, trippy fact to me. That sentence doesn't even need to be vetted. I just believe it. Yeah. Yeah, true. All right, let's hear your thoughts on aliens, bro. Uh, definitely exist. All right, but like, what do you think they would like? If you had to guess uh, what an alien would look like and where they are, do you think aliens have ever like visited Earth? Do you think they're like too far away? There's no chance. Do you do you think uh, there's intelligent life? Or I think I think on a uh, multitude of levels where I know not what I know, so I just vastly envisioned different things like back in time yes aliens could have visited us and gave us technology egyptians ancient sumerian texts and whatnot and life before that now that we're finding things that we're dating ten thousand years before our actual history has been telling us challenging shit with weird fucking in scriptures and shit you could say that aliens are back in the day they are maybe too like us trying to find a way out of their solar system so we're like not you know not touching yet mm. we're both primitive they could just be watching from a cloak in the sky it's weird that the government just declassified like three ufo videos just saying that yes basically they're just like yeah shit happens in the sky and we don't know what it is <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's fucked up that doesn't necessarily mean like aliens though it could just no, it be uh, it advanced that's technology what I mean. that's what I mean. or things happen in the sky we don't or know they're just trying to distract us from something else you don't know like it's so well, weird that's... that they would release that to me it's like why are they like what what could they have to gain out of this you know what i mean what's their plan the distraction mm -hmm, maybe. or or conditioning slow conditioning right yeah in, i've heard people say that like so that in not... release release it bit by bit to the public so you don't slap them in the face and you're like here's what they look like and we've been in contact with them you're just like oh <laughs> yeah we do have videos of things in the sky and this one time that crash did have something that we didn't know what was in it and uh we have had contact and then you know a little piece by piece by piece by piece and eventually, like, once you give, like, three pieces, all the conspiracy theorists will come out, and then everything gets saturated, and then you're just conditioned to it. It's you just, you just hear it every day, like the COVID shit. Nobody's on arms or are standing on their toes anymore. It's just, like, a joke, I feel, you know? Like, oh, COVID this. You see the memes everywhere, and it's, like, mm -hmm. it's not – there's no threat level. People are still not social distancing outside. You see the lines. You see people in the shopping marts passing each other. It's just – I don't know. I don't know how we got on that, but aliens exist. <laughs> <laughs> damn, dude, damn. All right, so you just uh, you just released uh, Drift In. How'd that go? How'd uh, the release go? That was good. I, uh, I, great responses so far. I haven't checked any of the numbers because I uh, just got to wait for them to update. 
Mm-hmm. But uh, no, I've got a lot of feedback. A lot of people have been messaging me saying that they love the album. Great songs on there. Uh, actually, our song Weird Sounds, a couple people have actually turned it into their ringtones. That's so sick, dude. Yeah. Yo, plug all your shit right now before I forget. Uh, where can people find you? Uh, thanks to Sab, mostly everything is under Big Dubs. Nice. Cool. Um, YouTube at Big Dubs. Um, Spotify, everywhere else that you listen to music, uh, Napster, Tidal, Google Play, Amazon, iTunes, blah, 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 wherever the fuck you listen to music. Big Dubs, look it up, B-I-G-D-U-B-B-Z. Big Dubs on Twitter and Big Dubs 905 on Instagram. Word, bro. Sick. Why couldn't you get Big Dubs on Instagram? Somebody else had it? Yeah, somebody else has just Big Dubs. Yeah, so... Damn. <laughs> yeah, you know, it happens. Okay, now you, you gotta might, tell it might me. even be one of my several other accounts that I just don't remember, you know? Yeah, you don't even remember making them. Now you gotta tell me, uh, w- w- what are your thoughts on ghosts, bro? You think ghosts are real? Yeah, it's supernatural shit's pretty interesting to me. I've never, like, really experienced anything crazy supernatural, but definitely mm-hmm. some weird, eerie, eerie vibe shit, you know? But... I've never, yeah, I've never experienced anything, but I definitely would like to believe that it's real because that would be... Man, like 90% of the people I've had on this podcast, I feel like say like it's real, they've had experiences. I'm like one of the few people that barely like not had, like had no experiences I know of really. I may have Um, had like experiences, but those could have been drug induced and I don't know. Right, same. Or like fucking, I was just tripping or like there are coincidences that do happen that are weird. Like you could say something weird and like a light goes off or whatever, but it's like, it could be a million other things too, even more than that, uh, than ghosts, right? Uh, 100%, 100%. It could be just like whatever. It could be like a fucking bug in the wall. I don't know. It could be like, <laughs> and even like it could be other supernatural things too, right? It could be fucking uh, demons or it could be just, um, I don't believe in demons either, but a lot of people do. Or like, it could be, what I think is maybe possible is that there's shit out there that we can't sense because like, we only like, you only can taste things because you have a tongue, right? If you didn't have that, then you would never know what anything tastes like. And you can only, so like maybe if we had another tool, cause there's like fucking radio waves going through the air and shit, you know what I mean? But you can't yep. sense that no, shit no, unless you have the proper you tool. Can't, you can't see the air flowing. You can't right. see electric currents. You can't. So we could like make a tool that lets us lets us sense of this other shit maybe one day. That'd be pretty fucking wild. Mm-hmm. It's a million dollar idea there, Seb. Invent a new. Uh, I keep end up talking about organ. the same shit. I'm just like obsessed with the, all invent, the same kind of things. Inventing I, a new organ in the human body. <laughs> that's what you want to do. How crazy would that to, be? To sense radio waves. And you could just tune well, it to the radio. I don't think it would be hard considering like your brain runs on electricity. So you'd just have to develop up there just like a little sensor, like a little radar, you know, like a little Wi-Fi connector that just yeah. lets you know. But maybe like subconsciously, like the ads on the radios and shit are fucking going into your brain and you are sensing them in a way you don't even realize. Or you, they could send shit out to just fucking force us to do shit. And we don't even fucking know. It's super subtle. <laughs> Yo, I, if I die, dude, I, I'm not an Epstein. Okay, don't kill me, please. I should say that. I don't have a fucking island full of kids. This man's trying up. to manipulate human fucking <laughs> genetics. What's a good example? Who got fucking killed for doing the right thing? Epstein was doing bad shit. <laughs> <laughs> so i want to compare myself to him who was out there that was like a fucking hero who's that guy that leaked all that shit uh snowden he's not yes dead. yeah he's not dead true but he's like fucking he had to run away and shit yeah he's in exile mm-hmm. that's fuck, crazy man yeah he basically he, came out and was like the nsa is spying on you they're watching mm-hmm. you they're listening to you and they're like okay cool does that mean we get more stuff? And like, oh, shit, <laughs> yeah. They don't care that we listen to you. And then Google's like, I heard you say the word dog today. So here's dog collars and dog leashes for sale. You know? Yeah. And it's like, what, what are they going to do with all this mass information of listening <coughs> to us? It's kind of like, uh, 
the third season of Westworld, it actually kind of like explored that idea. And I kind of liked that because it was like, fuck, man, that's crazy. They just have this giant machine. That, and like, it processes what you like and it basically just guides you in life to all the things that are good for you. They're like, this is what yeah. you like. Go this way. And then they just like kill the people that they think that are too unpredictable or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. That's a. Uh... Yeah, Which just, would be me. I would be one of those people because I always change what I'm into and shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> facts. Can't get this guy in a routine for nothing. Now I'm podcasting. Uh, now I'm podcasting. Mm-hmm. What is this? What number is this? I think this is like almost 20 or something. I've been doing so many. But it, I've mm-hmm. lost track. I should have been like writing down the numbers and shit as I was doing them. But the ones I release, I always... And I say it at the beginning every time, you know? So I only have, I have six released now, I think. Yeah, that's crazy. So I, so we're on number almost 20 and he has six yeah. released right now. So think, yeah. about that. think about the time frame when this was taken and then go back to the sixth one. And that's the day. Yeah, that's the day it was recorded. Yeah, That's exactly. the day this happened. I released that one like four or five hours ago, I think. 28 days later, mm-hmm. I'll look different on the next one. Mm-hmm. The next one's coming out is uh, Skinny Doom. Skinny Doom. Boom mm-hmm. your broom. Shout out him and Sagato on the Weekly Word. Cypher Series mm-hmm. 20. Bring Yo, I did back, one with Sagato too. I did one back. with Sagato too. <laughs> shout out to Sagato. Shout out to Green Street. Shout out to Beast Mode. Shout out to all my peeps out there. Love y'all. Yeah. I got to get fucking Taco on one, bro. Taco on the motherfucking podcast. <laughs> For sure. I'm just gonna, yo, that's do- no, no, I'm not even gonna leak my idea of what I'm gonna do. With yeah, that. don't, don't leak it. But, uh, it's fucking, fun. why do you collect pops, bro? Fuck you. <laughs> no, the world wants to know. <laughs> the world wants to know. I don't know. I just like them as collectibles and they're the easiest to like store and keep and display. Mm. I have one. You gave it to me. It's right up there. It's Morty. <laughs> with a big arm I got those uh, those it's awesome man what else do you collect you collect pins yeah they're too far true true they're too far I collect weed things too you know, <laughs> yeah dab yeah rigs. dab rigs and all that fun shit I also collect musical melodies to fucking destroy Man, you got to tell me, uh, help me out. What kind of questions should I ask people in the future? I think I should, I'm, I got to stop asking the Epstein shit all the time. It's already been 20 episodes almost. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Do a, do a different crazy question every 20 episodes, you know? Oh, four 20 episodes too? Like, yeah. yeah. It's 20 so, people's opinions on something. So what should the next one be? I, I did Aliens, Ghosts, and Epstein pretty much every episode this time. So, uh, I don't know. Just and Magic, rele- I usually ask about too. Keep relevant shit. Um, so this is what you do. So at the end of it, for the 21st episode, or no, you wait. You wait till the end of like uh, your 100th episode. You do 101, and it's like a pri- or, um, like family feud thing, and you got a guest on, and it's like... For fucking, yeah. while well, we asked twenty guests what they thought about Jeffrey Epstein, <laughs> you said he killed himself. Twenty nineteen people said he killed himself. You That's points. hilarious. So far, only one person has said that he killed himself. Everybody has said he didn't kill himself, except for Mitch. Thinks he did. All right, someone else. I forget who. Um, also said that he might have been like helped to kill himself or whatever. Right. Enticed. Yeah, it's like here. It's like or or someone else said, "Fuck, I've been talking to so many people recently. I don't even remember who said these things." I'm sorry, to everybody. But someone else said uh, that he would have like paid off the guards, maybe or something, because fucking like the cameras went off and shit. You know what I mean? All that shit. So it's like there's like a million different possible explanations. You know? Oh, no, for sure. How do we get back on the fucking Epstein shit? <laughs> Because you're asking what you want to ask because you talk too much yeah. about it. But we were supposed to make people go watch Checkmates to hear your thoughts on Epstein. Yeah, I didn't give. I don't think I gave any thoughts on. Epstein oh yeah, that now. was just me talking. True. See? Um. <laughs> so yeah, what question should I ask next? Do you think? Was Kobe 
Do you believe Kobe Bryant died or was he used as a shill and a cover up? <laughs> I don't think that one's generic enough. Everyone's just going to believe he died, I think. I don't. Know. Yeah, but I you're fucking believe. crazy. <laughs> I, don't be- <laughs> I don't believe he just died in a helicopter with his daughter when it was crazy weather conditions and they were told not to fly and several other helicopters did not leave the ground, but theirs did on the morning that the whistleblower from China came out about the coronavirus and it was all the news until Kobe died. And that's why I made that line, the coronavirus huh. over Kobe dying. So like fucking, but isn't there, like if they wanted to like kill him and cause a big thing, isn't there like easier way to do it than that? Well, you see, they used him, but they also got his daughter in it. So it was a perfect time to get both of them. And it wasn't just Kobe died, his daughter died. So it made it extra sensitive. And you think that people are so, like, fucking evil and greedy and shit that they would just kill this guy and his young daughter? 100% I believe that there are crazy satanic pedophile cults running this God fucking damn. crazy shenanigans of a business called the United States that is running some crazy, crazy shit. You got to think about Epstein was just charged with all this pedophile shit. Weinstein mm-hmm. out here doing the same shit. Um, all their connections, they threatened to give names, the, all the accusations of Hillary Clinton and what she's been up to and her uh, involvement, Bill Gates and his involvement. And all these people are talking. Bill Gates just came out, or Justin Trudeau just came out and said he's been talking with Bill Gates and the Melinda Gates Foundation on how to deal with this pandemic and vaccines. Why are these two people the people that our government are looking to when, like, they're they're already on the chopping block, Bill Gates and them, for all this fucking forced vaccines and shit? Fuck, man. And you're trying to tell me they're fucking... It's it's, it's right in front of you. It's all on the news. It's nuts, bro. Me, me and your cousin Tom, when we did the Event 201 pod, uh, podcast, um, we were talking about that. Damn, dude. Damn. Fuck. I, so, ignorance is bliss, you know? It's kind of like... Oh, fuck. Yeah, you're telling me. It's like, fuck, because it's like we're so powerless. It's like weird that like one person is so powerful just with money, right? It's like if you can get enough money, you can like make whatever you want happen essentially yeah basically Mm -hmm. bro it was crazy this this yo yo i'm gonna talk about something crazy and tell me if this will get this episode taken down okay so (laughs) sam tripoli's uh tinfoil hat uh podcast that i listen to right he has a bunch of conspiracy theorists on there Mm -hmm. um they talk about wild shit all the time crazy conspiracies from fucking everything half the shit that i talk about is what i get from there and then i do my fact checking right just looking shit up um they were talking about that hitler may have been the grandfather of or or the grandson of one of the rothschilds and just mentioning that got their video taken down without warning without uh penalty without anything they just removed it off of youtube and then mm-hmm. when he went to go upload it, they said, you've already uploaded this video. Don't upload it again. And how do you know about all that? Because they, in their next podcast, they, they were like, yo, we released this video. And then somebody came up and they're like, yo, this episode's missing. And then he went on. Sure enough, the episode was gone. He mm-hmm. went to upload it. He, he told him, he's like, I went to upload. He's like, YouTube, he's like, they, they deleted the video. Right. But then that's crazy. So then the, the, uh, YouTube does shit like that. They're like the thing that I don't like is like when they don't tell you, because like I was commenting on tons of shit, right? But I was swearing all the time. I was saying like, "Fucking Tom, I fucking found you again, Tom. Tom, fuck you." Yeah. And like to me, it looks like my comments go through, but if I go on through another account, then my comments aren't there, right? And I find shit in my spam box, so like I can find shit, and it's like held because it might be inappropriate or held because it might be spam in my like youtube studio shit and like when those people are commenting it's the same thing they don't get notified right which i think is bullshit it's like youtube should tell you hey your your comment is actually not posting you know what i mean like you think you you came up with this hilarious clever comment and it's out (laughs) there on this video but it's not 
Hilarious my, oh my. clever comments by Sam. <laughs> Fuck you, Tom. I found you. Yeah. <laughs> Genius. I don't know. Like I, I but if I like I commented it probably like a thousand times or something. And if I knew it wasn't going through, I wouldn't have been doing it. I'm just wasting my time, you know what I mean? <laughs> like yeah. if, I, if at least if you know you're being censored, you can shut up. But if you keep talking and you know and you don't know you're on mute, you just keep like wasting energy. Yeah, basically. Yeah, so that's fucked up that they did that. And I completely like believe that they did that because like fucking YouTube isn't that transparent. They just censor shit without telling you. And uh this might get taken down and my whole channel might be de- deleted, right? They delete channels too all the time. Yeah, they're wild. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Especially cuz like I'm so like small in subs, right? I have like fucking like almost 400, I think. So fucking uh yeah. <clears throat> yeah, no fuck, man. Um yeah. <laughs> it might it might it might get taken down but no yeah. I mean, that's what it that's how crazy like the shit i listen to is that you know like they t- they took it down just because they're talking about this possibility of timeline you know what i mean mm-hmm. and the only reason why they they flag any of his shit is because it's like they're on this whole new thing that's like fake information right but it's like who gets to say what's fake information the WHO, holy shit yeah exactly who Fuck. basically just came out and was like oh shit the death toll is not sixty thousand; it's thirty seven thousand. god damn dude yeah you know it's like I mean? who it's can like you trust right if like the, the if you who can... they're being told that we can't put out anything that goes against the who but yet they've changed their ideas and information about the covid shit like nine times over now at first yeah. they were like don't wear masks and then they're like wear masks and it's like we need this for that and it's like like man you're just you're saying something and then going back on it like i don't know anything about that to comment i don't even know who they are who, who what what's the, the oh world health, the world health organization there's a world health organization W-H-O. Fuck. we keep moving more and more close to like one world order eh well yeah and like to to be factual like i was even thinking about it the other day it's like is that really a bad thing that's what Ambrish thinks too, that it's like not that bad. But I think it you, is, man. Do you, think, I do you think, think that aliens would want to come down if they existed? Do you think aliens would want to come down to a planet where we can't even be happy on our own planet together? Okay, so uh, the, the thing that I disagree with is if you give someone too much power, there's no one to check them. You know what I mean? It's like YouTube is like the only fucking place where people like post videos and you watch other videos from like retards like me fucking sorry for saying the r word or whatever um fuck where was i going with that uh yeah so like um they just have too much control no one can put them in check you know what i mean so if like someone has too much power they can just do whatever they want well no because like how i would see a one world order would not be a totalitarian one person in charge because I don't believe any one person should mm-hmm. be in charge of any one government. There, there should be separate branches with head commanders, you know, like how there's like a leader of a task force, but not one person gets to make every decision. It would have to be talked about between five heads or even more, an odd mm-hmm. number, right? Because somebody has to break a tie at the end of the day. Right, right. But right, even so- that, it's like all those people could be conspiring together or whatever, right? But if you have a one world order they would be conspiring together to make the one world that they are ordering to be better instead of Mm. fighting with each other all over the place. That's a good point. Yeah. We have one connective. So if, if we came together as a one world order, the positive would could possibly be that we start sending our resources that are oversaturated in Dubai, America, all these fancy places where millionaires live. And you distribute the wealth to the third world countries and build it up as a one world to prosper together and grab resources from everywhere. So therefore there's no tariffs. There's no trading taxes between humans on earth. Everybody just gets to benefit from growth. But like, I kind of like that there's like different laws in different countries. Like, you know, like, so there's just that stupid gun ban thing here or whatever. Right. And everyone's tripping out about that. And it's like, yes, fucked up. 
I like the idea that you can move to another country that you like how it's run better or whatever, right? So it's almost like how with businesses, you can spend your money how you want to spend it. If you really want, you can move to another country and go support that country, right? So it's like, inst- I kind of like having other, it's almost like each country is a business, right? Where it's like, they're all fast food places and America's McDonald's and we're fucking Kentucky fried chicken or some shit. You know what I mean? And you can spend your money where you want it. That's whereas like, if it's all one world, then it's like, you know, you're giving it to the same people, no matter what you can't support. If you disagree with how those people are running the world, you can't move to another planet unless that's an option at that point. Where that's where I would like, once you gain a one world order, I believe that's when, galactic and space travel would be possible to use the resources and everybody's technology from around the world instead of everybody competing to do separate things in space if we all did the same thing we could get it done a lot faster together i i'm saying like we should all definitely work together i don't think there should be wars and stuff unless some country is really fucking up but i just like the separation of countries and having different choices that's the only problem with everybody having different choices because the other people over there who are running stuff don't like the way the other people over there are running stuff. So now mm. they have problems and now you guys can't do trade. So now everybody's not working together. Right. But we still, we don't agree with like the way China is running shit. At least I don't like, I don't like that they have cameras everywhere and that fucking they're, they're doing the point system thing from like black mirror and shit. And like, it's like mm-hmm. not even democratic at all, but we still do trade with them. Right. Yep. I still buy shit that's made in China. I don't even look to see where shit's made. I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. But yeah, well, that's what I think about. uh... All right, move it on. Uh, (laughs) Fuck, what's your thoughts on magic, bro? You think magic's possible? (laughs) Magic the Gathering, definitely possible. It's a good card game. Good card game. Miss playing that shit. Yeah, man, for sure. Another yeah, random fucking... thing I was into. What about zombies? Do you think zombies would ever be possible? Uh, yeah, definitely. There's already uh, parasites that go inside of bugs and control them. They're dead bodies, so I don't sure. believe that they couldn't mutate to uh, take on a human form. There's wild shit in the jungle that we don't know about, bro. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point. True. Damn. Yeah, man. man. <laughs> man crossed would be crazy remember fucking crossed bro i forgot about crossed until i was watching a music video that i was featured in from like five six years ago at my old house and i had a crossed mask hanging off of my microphone and i was like oh shit i was dope i remember that so to everyone that uh, doesn't know which is probably all of you <laughs> crossed is a comic book where it's like zombies but way better you just you still stay smart and you just go crazy and say, and it's uh, definitely it's don't read this comic book unless you're 18 years or older. It's really messed up. Yeah. It's like the most messed up whole, thing you uh, can think of. Their whole mentality is make, fade, kill, repeat. Yeah. They it's just want to eat, fuck, stuff. kill, die. And they stopped, uh, they stopped uh, making new cross, which makes me sad. Cause it was my favorite comic book. It's what got me into comics. Um, comics are so cool because like, you don't need, all of, like the money and stuff that like a TV show needs. So you can like make any crazy idea happen. You don't have to worry about it flopping. You don't have to, you know, yep. if it flops, like, fuck it, who cares? It didn't cost you that much money to make it. Right. <laughs> oh, facts. Well, printing and everything, you know, but that's how you yeah. get the deals. But the there's way more stuff. comic books than there are like of, uh, even books in general, there's way more books than even comic books. Right. Oh, and facts. even books, it's just like, even less, you just, write out exactly what your ideas are and you can make the craziest like things it's like if you want to expand your mind over like this hollywood bullshit that we just see in movies all the time you gotta start reading because it's like the only time you find like original more original ideas you know oh facts though there's man everything in hollywood's oversaturated it's all been done it's all the same stuff they're literally just making remakes of remakes. Mm. But like I can know? like predict the end by watching it the first time. It's like you always know the main character is not going to die. It's always like so, you know they they have the people that do the speaking parts and like it's just because like the way like the pay thing works. It's like if you have one line in the movie that makes uh you have to get paid more, right? So it's funny with like uh some movies they'll have like 
the enemy like group of like gangsters or whatever, or like a dodgeball team or something, and there'll always be at least one guy that never says anything. Yeah, because they don't want to pay him more right so he's an extra kind of but if that situation happened in real life that guy would talk but in the movie <laughs> he never does because they he's have a, the main people that they pay like the hollywood man's big shots in the back like i'll just say some shit for free dog <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> but then, that's all loud everybody's got <laughs> unions and shit <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you got this man up here talking for free yeah <laughs> Hack. AZ, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. Oh, oh, man, we've been talking bro, for a while. Thinking, I was even thinking about that today, too. I was like, man, I want to write a movie where the main character dies. I was even thinking about that today. I was like, that's a good movie because nobody's writing that shit. Well, it does happen get, sometimes, but like. You just get to the end and it's just like. Uh, what? Dude, I want to see like a rom com where it's just like. At the end, it's just like they just both get murdered or something. And it's just like so unsuspected. And it's all of a sudden a scary movie, but just at the end. The rest of the time, it was a <laughs> rom com. You know, it has all the rom com tropes and stuff. And then at the end, it's like this crazy, scary movie just for like five minutes. Because that's like, you know, these crazy murders that happen, like these scary movies, they have to keep make it two hours because all movies are like around that length or whatever. Yeah. So it's like, you know, all this crazy, like it just takes forever to fucking find them they're always running away and like the car that doesn't was, work and then they have to do something else. bro that is exactly what i was thinking today i was like my movie my movie would be just called this is a this is a real movie and it'd be like two people chilling and they like they hear a sound and they're like nope fuck this shit they just get up and leave <laughs> yeah, yeah. And, right and it's like michael myers they're like shooting this guy he doesn't die and they're like running away and they're like and he just shows up in front of them and just fucking mucks them but, like, instead, it's just, like, they shoot him, and he's like, ah, oh, fuck, god damn. He's like, oh, oh, he's, he's just, a, it's just a person. Shoots him again, you know? Oh, my God. There's, like, yeah. little shorts, like, 40 little shorts. That'd be of sick. Like every, and, every thing just opposite, you know? Yeah, and, like, the, the very first zombie is like, ah, and then they just get killed by the first guy, and then zombies don't happen. <laughs> yeah. Fucking Freddy Krueger's, like, in your dreams, and then you just wake up. Like, he kills you, then you wake up, and you're like, oh. It was just a dream. <laughs> that's hilarious, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, let's fucking make a YouTube video of that. That'd be actually pretty funny. <laughs> this is a real movie. Yeah. Damn, that's actually a good idea. Nobody steal that. <laughs> no, it is. Yo, intellectual copyright right now. We got to make sure it comes out before this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, man. I was, you know, I got time. I got time to think about stupid shit. I got ideas all the time. Got ideas, bro. All the time. Damn. Man, how many songs do you think you have total? Somewhere between like three and 500. That's crazy. That's awesome. It'd be sick to listen to them all in order, bro. It would take I like days or weeks. There's like, one, there's like one or two CDs I'm missing on my anthology. Damn. All right, well, I think we've been talking for a while. We might as well cut it. I think that's been fucking awesome, bro. Thank you, man. Appreciate yo, it. Yo, this was super fun. Um, can't wait to get more of this shit in. And uh, shout out assholes with opinions. Yeah. Love, love, bro.